In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how anyone can create high quality, eye catching t-shirt designs in seconds, even with no design skills. Creating awesome t-shirt designs used to be reserved for graphic artists and those with years of design experience. But now, instead of spending hours to make a subpar design or spending tons of money to hire a designer, we can create the same quality t-shirt designs as the professionals with the easy to use tools on Placeit. With access to thousands of pre-made t-shirt design templates, Placeit allows anyone to create amazing t-shirt designs with just a few clicks. Placeit not only provides you with tons of professional t-shirt design templates, but also provides you with the tools you need to customize the templates however you like. With Placeit, you can easily edit your t-shirt design layout, text, colors, and even browse the thousands of graphics available in the Placeit library to add to your design. So to get started, let's head over to Placeit and go through the process to create a new t-shirt design. To access Placeit and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. So once you sign into Placeit, you should be taken to the Placeit homepage. To create our t-shirt design, the first thing we need to do is access the Placeit t-shirt design templates. To do this, let's start by going up to the top menu and hovering our mouse over the designs tab. This will open up a drop down menu where you can view all sorts of templates that you can access on Placeit. To access the t-shirt design templates, let's go down to the apparel and print tab, then go over to t-shirt designs. This will open up a page where you can view all of the t-shirt design templates that are available on Placeit. They have thousands of templates, so you may need a way to narrow them down a bit. If we go up to the top drop down menu here, we can see all sorts of categories that we can select from. You can select to view templates on topics like animals, education, hobbies, various professions, sports, and tons more. That's a quick way to sort the templates, but if you look at the menu on the left hand side, you can narrow down your results even more. If we click the drop down menu here, we can select to see the best selling templates, the newest, or mixed results. And underneath this, we can see all of the design template categories we looked at earlier and their subcategories. If we expand to see all of the categories, you can see there are dozens that you can choose from, and each category has hundreds, if not thousands of templates available. And under the design template categories, you can also sort your results by tags. When I'm looking for a particular type of design, I typically use the tags. They have tags for things like astrology, Christmas, clothing brands, pets, music, and many more. So feel free to narrow down your results to find your perfect template but since I have no idea what type of design I want to create yet, let's just browse all the templates. So as you can see, the templates on Placeit are very high quality. Whether you want a creative text design or a cool graphic design, Placeit will definitely have a template for you. If you hover your mouse over any of the templates, you can get a preview of various versions. This is very handy when you're looking for the best template for your design. So to create my t-shirt design, I think I'll just go with this template here. Once you select a template, you'll be taken to the Placeit t-shirt design editor. Here's where you can fully customize your template any way that you like. This includes changing your template text, updating your colors, selecting your graphic, and more. So the first thing I typically like to do is update my text. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side. Each one of these text boxes represents a text element on your template. To change your text, Simply go to the text field and type in whatever you want it to say. When you change your text, you'll notice it update on your template as well. So for my design, I think I'm going to remove this bottom text element. If you wanted to hide one of your text elements, simply go to the text box, click the three dots icon, then click on hide. And the bottom text has been removed from my template. And if you like, you can add another text element by using the text button at the bottom here. So now that I've updated what my text says, let's change my text font. To change your font, simply go to the text box you want to update, then click on the font tab at the bottom. This will open up a new menu where you can view suggested fonts, your saved fonts, and your recent fonts. You can see dozens of options under the suggested fonts, but if you want to access even more, go down to the bottom right and click on more fonts. This will open up another menu where you can view all of the fonts available on Placeit. They have hundreds of fonts to choose from, separated into dozens of categories. No matter what design you're creating, they'll definitely have the perfect font for you. 
So take your time and browse through the various fonts and find the best one for your design. Once you find your perfect font, go ahead and select it to add it to your template. So now that we've changed my text and updated the font, let's go over how to change my text color. To change the color of any of your text elements, go to the text box you want to change, then click the color icon at the bottom right. This will open up the colors menu where you can change your text to any color that you wish. To view all the colors, I like to go to the colors tab. Here's where you can view all available colors to find the one that best works with your design. For my design, I think I'll change my top text to white. And for my bottom text, I think I'll just go with red. So I've updated my text colors, but now my top text is kind of hard to see with this light background. So in order to see everything clearly while creating my design, let's change the background color. If you look at the top of the menu at the right, you should see the background drop down menu. If you click this, you'll see the colors menu pop up where you can select a new background color. There we go. Now I can actually read my text. We'll be removing the background when we download our image, but for editing, let's just go with this. And a quick note, if you need to rearrange the elements on your template, simply click and drag them to the correct location or drag their corners to adjust their size. Also, if you select an element, then click the circle icon at the bottom, you can rotate your element as well. So now that I'm finished with my text, let's change my graphic. Using the menu on the right hand side here, we can search the Canva library for tons of graphics to use with our design. Simply go up to the search bar and type in whatever it is that you're looking for. No matter what you look up, place it will likely have hundreds of graphics on that topic that you can use. Feel free to do a few different searches and find the graphic that best works with your design. There we go. My I need my space t-shirt design is starting to come together. For many of the graphics in the Placeit library, you can also change their main color and their accent color. This allows you to adjust your graphic and get it exactly the way you want. Each graphic is different, so you may have to also adjust the location and the size of some of your elements. So here's my new I Need My Space t-shirt design. I could roll with this, but I think I'll upload my own image. If you have your own graphic you want to add to the template, simply look at the menu on the right hand side and click the upload image button. You can then find and open up the image you want to use. You can then resize or crop your image if needed. And once you're finished, go ahead and click the crop button. The image you uploaded will then be added to your template. So now let's adjust the size and rearrange my elements. When resizing your elements, try to make your design fill up as much of the template as possible. You don't want to have a lot of empty space around your design. And for my alien graphic here, I think I'll tilt it to the left just a little. <laughs> now we're flying. If you wanted to add an additional graphic to your template besides your main graphic, you can use the extra graphics drop down menu on the left hand side here. This will provide you with the option to upload a new graphic from your device or search the place it library. Simply open up your image and crop it just like before. And your new graphic will be added to your template. You can now resize and adjust it however you like. If you wanted to replace, adjust, or remove your graphic, you can do that from the menu on the left here. And if you click the text button on the left hand side here, you can add another text element to your template as well. You also have various options to adjust your text highlight or remove it. But I'm good with just my two text elements, so let's click the three dots icon to hide this one. Feel free to edit your text and graphics as much as you like, but I think I'm finished with my I Need My Space t-shirt design. Before we can export our design to use for t-shirts or other products, we first need to remove the background. To do this, let's click the background drop down menu. From the colors tab, look all the way down at the bottom right and click the little checkered icon. Your background will now be a checkered pattern representing a transparent background. So with our background removed, we can now download our design. To download our design, let's go up to the top right and click the download button. Your design will then start processing and once it's finished, you can click the link to download your design to your device. So let's open up my new t-shirt design and see how it looks. Not bad. I bet there isn't any aliens out there that wouldn't love to have this t-shirt design. So that's a quick overview of how to easily create t-shirt designs using Placeit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.